Assalamualaikum and greetings, Salih Shama here and welcome back to more RC video reviews, more RC vehicle reviews. Today in this video, finally I found time to unbox this sweet looking metal 4x4 pickup truck, which is kind of Toyota pickup truck. And uh, to be honest, kind of copy of the old, uh, the retro classic Tamiya Toyota pickup truck kit yes it uh, kind of like that replica but again here we are with this ready to run one tenth of scale electric 4x4 pickup truck or RC crawler now the best thing about this is that it has a three speed central transmission installed in this RC crawler and of course Lots of other features in this cool looking RC crawler. We are going to take a look at all of those features right away. We will unbox it right away and of course get it ready and bring it out, give it some off-road environment and see how well it will handle the off-road terrain and how much fun it is to play with this 4x4 pickup truck which has a 3-speed switchable central transmission. <music> thing first that dropped out of the box was the user manual and very nice stickers check this out to save themselves from getting sued instead of saying Toyota they use Toyato so that's a new RC car here that's a new vehicle Toyato <laughs> oh my goodness I mean check it out sweet white body there's nothing on it I mean, with a white body, you can even paint it according to your own choice. I'm not very good at painting these bodies, but hey, maybe this is time I give it a try. But for now, I'll just go with the stickers provided and uh, use it with that. So we have some parts here. Some of them are coming out of this bag. I'm not sure if I lost some or not. But here have we, we got some accessories, tools nut and bolts, okay, zip ties, rubber bands, and some plastic parts, okay, and yes, I wanted to see the radio control, of course, because this one has something that will switch the three speeds, or, uh, you know, switchable three transmission modes, uh, that is high, m that is two-wheel drive, and then you have mid, still two-wheel drive, and then you have low, four-wheel drive very nice I mean, check it out the design on this thing is really cool and you can open this on the top and you have uh, bind mode trimmers element reverse right here very fancy looking radio control uh, we also have a steering trim right outside very nice idea to have this right outside so you can actually trim it even with your thumb all right Kind of uh, El Cheapo feel right here. 
the plastic, uh, the foam is moving on the steering wheel. Um, the overall, the radio has an El Cheapo look on it, like a very cheap plastic toy grade kind of thing. But hey, if it works, it gives you a good range. Not bad. Check this out. What a neat looking crawler right here. This chrome is really shiny and reflective on top here. Overall, this color seems a kind of plastic that is not gonna take a fall really happily and it's gonna break. It's that kind of plastic to my experience, okay? The mirrors are not movable so basically on a first roll or tumble you're gonna break these mirrors uh, right here the side view mirrors it has a very nice scale dashboard and seats inside which they actually gave us the doors to open I mean the doors that could open once again nice looking chrome down here but basically again this is that kind of plastic which I said will break happily on your very first tumble or very first drop all right, uh, there is an on-off switch right here in the bed, okay? Let me just take the cover off, okay? So we can see what's inside. That's what we are really concerned about. All right, so this is the inside of the shell. Uh, basically, you can install LEDs in these lights. These lights do not have LED at the moment. All right, but you can install LEDs. As you can see inside, there's a good place for you to install LEDs. Uh, maybe I will go with the sound system straight on it and LEDs together with that. Very nice chrome on top. I'm liking it. It's like reflective, nice. Okay, so this was the shell, uh, 7.4 volt, 1500 mAh, 15C light poly battery. I don't know what kind of light poly it is. It's really light, very, very light. I do have 2200 milliamp, and they should fit just fine in there. Now that the camera is focused on it, it is a 540 class brushed motor. This is not a brushless motor. We do have a lot of metal right here check it out okay so this is your central transmission that will switch three speeds using the radio control how good the switching is do you have to stop for switching or you can switch while driving we're gonna find out very very soon this is the bottom view we have nice metal here a metal plate which is a protection plate for the central differential and axles okay well bottom plate like the real cars complete metal assembly for you know front differential and a front drive system and we have more metal parts on a universal drive shaft system here and for the rear similarly the rear axle and rear differentials are all metal assembly right here very very nice you can also see the leaf spring suspension with uh, coupled with the uh, hydraulics uh, oil fill shocks so not sure how jumpy bumpy is gonna be rest is all plastic and kind of very very toy grade plastic unfortunately that's what I'm watching here the front bumper and the rear bumper they look like kind of mixed with nylon so they should take some uh, abuse but not sure how long from here you can also see a whole metal leather frame okay which is like a real uh, car they had this uh, metal frame as well leather frame and they are using the same leather frame for the shock absorbers they are using spring and oil filled hydraulics now oil filled hydraulic shocks look like really spring loaded and a little bit oil it's kind of very cheap I mean honestly speaking they look really very cheap so I think most of the time the truck is gonna uh, you know depend on the leaf springs mostly and this makes it very jumpy bumpy tough ride I'm sure the passengers inside if there are were any I'm gonna feel every bump and jump <laughs> on the road. Overall, I will say the build quality is really nice. There's a lot of metal. There's a metal down here on the wheels. You can see they, they used uh, very generously a lot of metal and that is making this quite heavy. What's inside this plastic toyish box is all the drive control system like receiver and everything and I hope this is waterproof. 
nonetheless this is a nice and good RC crawler with lots of metal parts very good specs and very good features on it though 540 class motor only and of course a uh, cover that you can uh, probably spray paint yourself to give it kind of looks that you want customize it or just put the stickers on it now how well this will drive and how well it's gonna perform how powerful it is and how long it will last I mean the gears the central transmission and everything how long it's gonna last we're gonna find out very very soon so let me charge the battery let me get everything ready we'll bring it out and we'll get it dirty real quick and see what this four-wheel drive crawler can do You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on. Don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.